Hey guys, Kildare here, and today we'll be looking at Li Ming and how to play her. I don't just cause problems, I can also solve them. We'll be focusing on the core makeup of the hero, so their basic playstyle and moves. And we will lightly cover talent builds at the end, as talents are subject to change over time. With that said, let's begin. Li Ming is a ranged assassin that excels at burst damage and snowballing in teamfights. She serves her role best at the back line of teamfights and should not engage or fight alone in most situations. Li Ming can go through her moves frequently and consume mana very rapidly. Getting mana regeneration talents is highly recommended along with being teamed up with a support like Malfurion. Li Ming's Q is Arcane Missiles. Fires three missiles towards a location, each dealing damage. This move serves as her main poking ability. Although you have the option to hit three different targets with the trajectory of the missiles, in most situations landing all three missiles on the same target will normally do a lot better in the long run. Keep in mind that the missiles are fairly slow projectiles in comparison to other ranged abilities. Her W is Arcane Orb. Sends out an orb that deals more damage the farther it travels. Explodes on the first target it hits. This is Li Ming's main source of damage. Keep in mind that the orb travels fairly slow and is easy to dodge if foreseen. Starting the path in fog or out of line of sight will help ensure to land it. It will explode when it comes into contact with minions, so keep this in mind. It does have a long cooldown as well, so make sure that you use it at the right moment and do not just spam it. As stated from the move itself, it will do vastly higher damage the further it travels. Always try to make sure that you land it as far as way as possible to make the most of it. Her E is Teleport. Teleport a short distance. This move has a very short distance and should be used mainly to dodge ranged attacks. It can be used to help escape, but the distance is very minuscule, so do not rely on it. This move can get Li Ming over small obstacles or walls in some cases. Her first heroic ability is Disintegrate. Channel a powerful beam in a straight line that deals a large amount of damage. This beam will follow your mouse cursor. This is another one of Li Ming's main sources of damage, mainly used to finish off enemies that survive your other damaging abilities. Most people will opt for this move. Try to remember not to start your rotation on this move. Although it does have high damage, it is a finisher. Also keep in mind that although it does have high damage, Li Ming must channel it, leaving her extremely vulnerable to attack, so use it from a safe location. It should be noted that when versing another Li Ming, the basic rule is the first Li Ming to use Disintegrate will lose, since it makes you immobile and a very easy target. And her other heroic ability, which is Wave of Force. Knocks away all enemies in an area and deals moderate damage. This move is not normally picked, however it is still good. Disintegrate is an all-round move for pretty much any situation, however Wave of Force is superior in certain team compositions and situations you might be placed in. Although the damage is not too high on the move, it can still give Li Ming some much needed survivability when versing certain enemies. Wave of Force is a great choice to counter some of Li Ming's counters, such as Zeratul and the Butcher. Using it over Li Ming as she is being attacked can give her a good breathing space and ensure her survival where others might die. This move can also help secure kills and is not necessarily a finisher but more of a utility move, so feel free to use it at any point in your rotation. Her trait is Critical Mass. Getting a takedown, aka a kill, will reset the cooldowns of all of her abilities. This trait is what makes Li Ming so powerful. Once she can get one kill, she can go on a roll and annihilate the entire enemy team. When this does trigger, remember to use all of your moves and not just spam the one ability. Using the same move over and over again, particularly Disintegrate, is a pure waste of the trait and will most likely get you killed. The most important moves to get off is your W and your E, followed by your Heroic. This trait allows Li Ming to temporarily snowball in teamfights unless killed quickly. Keep in mind that this can shred Li Ming's mana pool while on a roll, so you should be keeping an eye on your mana bar and not your cooldowns. For her first tier, I recommend Astral Presence, which increases your mana regeneration by 100% while below 25% mana. This move is pretty crucial to Li Ming, particularly if you plan to utilize her trait. 
Without this talent, you will find that Li Bing will run out of mana faster and will be unable to make the most of her traits. On the other hand, if you find that you are on a map where you will find yourself constantly laning, such as Tomb of the Spider Queen or Dragon Shrine, then Power Hungry might be a better option. This talent will allow Li Ming to do more damage in lane constantly, and keep up her mana regeneration, which will be a problem later on down the track. For the second tier, I recommend Dominance. Since S of Jonna was recently removed from the game being deemed too overpowered, the next best choice is Dominance, which restores 25% of your HP when you get a kill. This move greatly helps Li Ming survive, particularly when she is on a roll and when she would put herself into more dangerous positions due to her trait. For the third tier, I recommend Seeker. Landing arcane missiles on multiple enemies will not normally do that much as a combined force on one enemy. This talent helps amplify this logic. This talent helps make her poke extra powerful and is good if you are versing in any team with a lot of high health heroes. This move excels at shredding your opponent's HP through her poking ability and is a must have if you are good at calculating the trajectory of slow moving arcane missiles. Alternatively, Calimity might be the better option for your situation. This move is extremely effective against other assassins and stealth heroes such as Nova and Zeratul as well as most of Li Ming's counters. Getting this talent can vastly boost her odds of surviving a gank and turn the tide of battle. However, it does put Li Ming in a dangerous position. Having dominance will assist her in this her survival. For tier 4, which is her heroic abilities, as I have mentioned before, Disintegrate serves as a damage boost should your team need it, and Wave of Force serves as utility should your team need it. For tier 5, I would highly recommend Illusionist. This talent will make more use of your teleport and allow you to actually escape with it. If combined with Calimity, then it can be a powerful tool to close the gap and kill enemies in the process. However, if you really do not feel the need for more mobility and you feel pretty safe, then Glass Cannon would be a good choice. However, this talent is the very definition of a double-edged sword. For Tier 6, the choice varies depending on your situation. Fireflies is a good choice if the arcane missiles are too slow for your liking and is great if your team is lacking poke. Arcane Orbit is good if you are really good at landing your orb at max distance, however it makes nearly all of your other abilities redundant as you will be too far away from your target to use them in time. Mirror Ball is another good choice if you want to make the most of your arcane missiles, particularly if you've gotten the talent Seeker. And Diamond Skin is a good choice if you find yourself being focused a lot, or if you really rely on the damage of Teleport, stacked with Calimity and Illusionist. And for tier 7, I would always recommend with a 100% pick rate, Tal Rasha's Elements. This move stands a mile above any other choice. The 10% bonus is insane and makes her high damaging moves even more crazy. This talent recently got a nerf reducing the bonus from 20% to 10%, however it is still a strong pick and stands above any other choice on this list. Just before we go guys, I'd like to let you know that you can vote on what videos you would like to see next. Just go to the cards and vote on what you would like to see. I'm very keen to see what you guys have to say. Well guys, that's how I play Li Ming and how I got my win rate with her. Thanks for watching, like this video if it helped you. Leave a comment on what you think of the perfectly balanced new hero Li Ming. And if you haven't subscribed, then give it a shot. I'll let you know all about my top secret secrets to success in Heroes of the Storm for the low, low price of free. Have a good one.